Hey y'all, good morning. It's a gorgeous day here in Central Virginia in my Zone 7A garden. I am working in the raised bed garden today because I am planning in on installing some cattle panel um, arch trellises. Planning on putting three of them in to connect some beds and create more space so that I can grow some things vertically. The plan is to do some cucumbers, squash, and I think I'm gonna do some of my melons like my um, honeydew and cantaloupe melons on some of them as well. So I thought I'd take you along for the whole process from start to finish and show you how we install them. I know there are many different ways that you can do it, um, but this is just the way that we have decided and chosen to do it for our garden. So let me show you the spaces that I'm gonna put them in. So when you enter our raised bed garden, it looks like this. Um, we have 22 beds in total. 11 on this half and 11 on this half and they range in size from 4 by 6 to 4 by 12. Um, I'm currently getting a lot of my little seedlings in the ground so that's what that is and then the center of it is just marked with this mint pot. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put in a trellis here uh, to connect these two beds and then another trellis here to connect those two beds and then one more between these two beds. I think this one will probably um, have some cucumbers, although I don't know, I'm still debating on what exactly is going to go where because some of my cool season crops are just finishing up. So potentially this one might be my melons, but either way, three different spots. I think it'll just be really pretty as you enter to see the arches right here. And then also it's just going to save so much more space so I can grow things vertically. Last year we had our uh, most of our melons back in this four by 12 foot bed. And I mean, as you know how melons grow, I mean, it just basically took and went up that whole hill. The vining crops were just everywhere. Same with the cucumbers. I'm definitely growing a lot less cucumbers. I learned my lesson last year. I grew way too many cucumbers, but I think it's a total of three or four different varieties that I'm growing this year, but I figured I can kind of condense them into these two spots and then maybe put my melons here. Those are some tulips that are on their way out. I'm just waiting for the foliage to die back, but I'm planning on doing a garden tour of the raised bed. Hopefully in the next couple days, you can see everything is starting to really fill in and get lush. My garlic is just taken off. I'm already cutting some scapes off of it. So probably not too much longer to harvest. Um, there are the potatoes that we planted. I mean, I think those were planted less than a month ago and you can see how much they've filled in. It's just, it's awesome. All the herbs are filling in nicely. We've been harvesting, this is celery and we've been cutting on the celery and eating it and it's absolutely delicious. Just threw in some sweet peppers. This is all sweet peppers, different varieties. And then some raspberries down there. You can see the asparagus ferns sticking up. It's just doing really well. So I hope I can get a tour in in the next couple of days. So be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, let's get these cattle panel trellises built. So I think the hardest part of doing these cattle panel trellises is getting the cattle panels home because they are 16 feet long. So you definitely either need a pickup truck or some sort of trailer or something to transport them. Um, we just picked them up at our local farm supply store and then we did grab a bunch of t-posts that we will use to secure them to the beds which i'll show you how so they do fold up and kind of hold themselves in the truck bed relatively easily so if you have access to a truck or a trailer um, they are definitely worth it and i do know that they make shorter cattle panels but the standard is 16 feet and then you don't have to worry about connecting panels together so these are going to be 16 feet in length um, which will I think end up from what I've researched creating about a six and a half foot, seven foot tall arch plus the height of my beds, which is about a foot. So I should have a nice clearance to be able to walk under these arches once they're installed.
So a little change of plans. I've decided to move where I'm gonna put the trellises. I'm gonna put one in between these two beds and then on the other end where it's symmetrical, put one in between those two and then there'll be one in the middle here in between these two beds. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set up the camera and show you the first step will be to put the T-posts in the ground on each side and then basically it's just securing the cattle panel with zip ties to the T-posts. It's super simple. All right, so here it is, all installed. It was super easy. What, that took us probably, what? Less than 10 minutes, maybe like six or seven minutes in all. And that was only because we had to reset two of the posts that were leaning at first. But that's awesome. We go stand under it so you can show the height. So it's gotta be at least seven and a half, eight feet tall. Yeah, oh, maybe eight and a half feet, but well, that's sturdy. So on this one, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do cucumbers or melons, but we'll have something growing up it and it's just gonna, it's gonna be awesome because it's gonna save space and it's just gonna kind of be magical, a fun little magical tunnel. So we did spray paint the T-Post black just so it spit, uh, blends in a little bit better into the garden, but, um, and then we just attached three little zip ties and the tension of everything plus the zip ties is really, it's very secure and it's not going anywhere. The last cattle panel is gonna go right here and it's gonna connect these two four by six beds. And the dimensions are four feet this way and then six feet long. And because we are doing the cattle panels from here to here, we're gonna to have to cut the cattle panel down just a little bit because each cattle panel is like, I think four feet, two inches or something like that. So we need to just cut like one whole, um, I don't know what you would call it, one whole like trellis ring, I don't know, off the side of it. So my husband's grabbing his um, grinder and he's gonna do that. And then we'll be able to fit it just inside the wood on each side. So I'll show you how we do that. So what I was doing a bad job at explaining <laughs> is that we're gonna take one whole vertical section off and that gives us 46 inches, which is exactly the width that we need. So he's gonna use the grinder and just go along and cut this whole side down.
All right, here's the final result of the last cattle panel. Looks awesome. Currently, we have some sweet peas and cabbage and marigolds in this bed. Some more sweet peas and marigolds here. But I think I'm gonna do some cucumbers in addition, and then they can climb up and over. Now, if you aren't six feet tall like myself, this might be a little bit tall. Um, so of course you can bury your cattle panel down lower. Ours is just at the surface level, or you can make your arch wider. And then of course we'll bring down the top of the arch, but we will be able to reach everything that we need to at this height. So that's one. Here's a look at the other one and I'll show you close up. Honestly, this project was so much simpler. I knew it would be easy, but it was even so much more simple than I anticipated. So just the T-post buried and then the cattle panel is zip tied to the inside. That's it. It's super simple and I mean, it is sturdy. We were just talking about like how you could very much grow like traditional large watermelons on this because it's not going anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure I could hang from it and it would be fine, but I've got some old tulips that I need to pull back, pull out there, but it looks so good. I am so excited. I just feel like this whole raised bed garden is really coming together. And then you can see right there is the third one. So they're going to be beautiful with vines climbing all over them this summer. I cannot wait. All right, that's a wrap on this very simple cattle panel uh, trellis installation project. We got all three of them in and I could not be more excited with how it turned out. I just, I'm envisioning like all the vines that are gonna be over this this summer and how magical it's gonna be. It's gonna create so much like whimsy to the garden and it's just a dream come true to have this raised bed garden. It's been something I've wanted for many years and to have the space to do it now is just, it's awesome. I feel so grateful for it. So if you wanna see what this garden looked like about two months ago in March, when things were just starting to break dormancy, I did a garden tour video, which I'll link to, and you can check it out next. And I plan to do an updated garden tour video now that things are really putting on a lot of growth. We've added so many new plants, cut flowers and different vegetables to the garden. So be on the lookout for that updated garden tour as well. But check out this next video of what this garden looked like back in March. Thanks for gardening with me today.